Hey everyone, I'm Zockley and welcome to another update video. With this week's update, we are adding support for modding fonts in Space Engineers. We are also adding a new font into the vanilla game. This is a monospace font recently made into a local mod by Crypt, so many thanks to them. If you access an LCD panel via the terminal, you will now find a font selection drop-down. Moving on, you can now use drills and grinders for cutting down trees. No longer will ramming trees with ships and rovers be the only option for clearing areas of land. Also this week, we've added a loading wheel for when you are pasting in blueprints. This should help indicate when the game is still processing and loading a new entity. The bugs fixed this week include some blocks not being welded from a projection, visual particle imperfections and issues with voxel hands. Lastly, there's an update to the stable branch today, which contains features like the visual scripting tool, damage block explosions, entity initialization, parallelization, unsupported stations and improvements to physics, taking it up to version 1.157. But that's all for now. For the full list of features, bug fixes and improvements going out in both the stable and the development branch, please see the update change log on our forums. You can find a link for that in the description box below. I would just like to say a massive thanks to one of our US fans, Jeremy, for sending in this amazing handcrafted Space Engineers light box. I can see that he put a lot of time into making this decoration and it really does show some quality craftsmanship. One thing that I can say for sure is that it looks pretty damn good on my desk. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week and here's something to end on. Two antennas got married. The wedding was lousy, but the reception was outstanding. <laughs>